Hi all, Karthik here from Design School BWP Algorithm. In this video, I want to show you how you can change your cursor to a custom one such as this one. This is actually an SVG file on my website. You can change it to an SVG, a PNG. I already made a video on how to change cursor using CSS and in that video I just showed you how to change it to one of the default values but in this I'll show you how to make SVG or PNG as your custom cursor all by using CSS and for those of you who don't have SVGs on your website you don't even need a third party plugin to upload SVGs to your site click on Elementor click on settings and go to advanced and just enable SVG uploads and click on save changes that's it so from within Elementor interface, whenever you're adding icons or images, you can also pick SVGs out of the box. You don't need any other plugin. Now I have few SVGs installed on my site or uploaded to my site. I'll just use them. So the syntax or the format to change cursor is essentially the same. So it's this one URL and within URL without any codes, you just specify the path to the SVG file separated by comma. You can add as many SVGs as you want or as many SVGs and PNGs as you want. It will load the first available file. So if you want a PNG, you can add that too. And if the PNG fails, maybe this SVG will be loaded and you should always have a backup. So you should have one of the default values available in case all the file files fail to load. And you can have this as the cursor. And the cursor property is triggered when you hover over the element. It's as simple as that don't even need a hover selector or hover pseudo state you just say cursor so we just added svg and you can see when i hover over this particular image it's turning into an svg i'll go to my media library i'll also upload a png first and here's the syntax you can read it from mozilla docs you can see that you can have one or more than one files and finally you should have a default value to back it up i'm back in here click on media library let me find a png for I think this is a PNG. I think it's too big. I think this is a PNG too. I'll copy this and URL braces paste the URL and then each of the files should be separated by comma. Let's refresh that one. Now I included a PNG. I included this PNG but you can see the dimensions are too big to show it as a cursor and that's the reason why that file or that image is not loaded. Let's pick a PNG that's a bit lighter in weight this might load let's try our luck i'll copy the url of this png go back i'll just change this just like that you see the png is now being loaded and that becomes our cursor see that that png becomes our cursor so it has to be a bit lighter in weight let's pick maybe this one even this might load as a cursor i'll copy i'll now paste the url of that file even that's not loading this is loading so you have to pick a lightweight file and if it's lightweight it will definitely load even this one maybe a typical 120 by 120 pixels will properly load and be displayed as a cursor as you can see now our cursor is changed to this and that's how you add custom cursors you can add as many urls as you want and if all of the files fail this one will be the default one or this one will be the cursor that's it you just put put this code in the custom series area of any element that you want the cursor to change so if you want it for a section put it in a section want it for a column put it in a column and if you want it in a widget just put it in a widget that's it